Way down. Come on. Yep, that's what I want. Pull! My name is Dwayne Fugate. Every man has a breaking point. If you've never experienced one, consider yourself lucky. But for those who have and are struggling, this video is for you. About two years ago, I made an attempt on my life. One of the defining moments that kind of threw me over the edge was uh, my mom. She got sick and she just deteriorated and sit there for about a month and watched her slowly, you know, deteriorate to the point to where we had to move uh, all the life support on her. The last 10 minutes of what I saw just, it destroyed me. And that threw me over the edge with living in the, the environment that I was living in at the time and then watching that, it just destroyed me. The night that I tried to take my life, I had, that evening, I had went and got a, renewed my prescription for the blood pressure medication. Because uh, I didn't want there to be a mess for my family to have to clean up. So I got them and then just laid down on the floor and took them. Took all of them, like 30 of them, uh, and waited. Um, within probably a minute or two, I threw them up. Don't know why, I just threw them all up. Um, but I was determined. I was determined to end it. So I scraped them up off the floor and put them back in my mouth and took them again. And then as I was sitting there waiting, um, I came across this video on YouTube. It was called The Best Gym Motivation. And had this guy uh, there wearing like this black hoodie type thing. And, and he just started talking about having 24 hours a day. And the more he talked, I started to second guess what I was trying to do. And I remember the more he talked, just put doubt in my head what I'd just done. I laid the phone down and started putting my fingers down my throat and trying to get the pills back up. And the whole time that I was doing this, I could hear him talk. But eventually I was able to throw them back up. And I, I had to count them to make sure I got all of them up. Because if not, I was gonna go to the doctor or the hospital to, you know, get help. The biggest thing was the guy I was talking to him. At the time, I didn't know who the guy was. Uh, I found out later it was uh, Gabe Tuff. Him talking about change, how you, know, you can change anything. I mean, it just echoed in my head. Yeah, I'm, I'm really fucked up right now, and um, I can get out of it. And I'm gonna get out of it. And I'm gonna do whatever it takes. I would rather die trying than die in vain. I want my death to have purpose or meaning. My why is I want to see my daughter grow up. I want to see my kids grow up. I don't want them to have to suffer because I've seen firsthand what suicide can do for kids, especially whenever they lose a parent because of that. And I didn't want my kids to have to go through that. I was going to start living for my kids. I wanted to be able to physically uh, do stuff with them. You know, I couldn't at the time. I was, like I said, I was 368 pounds of nothing but just misery. And later on, when I started to progress, you know, started losing weight, started getting more mobile, coming off meds, then I started adding to my why. And I wanted to try to reach out to people and give them some sort of idea to strive for if they're in the same situation that I was in. He's lost 130 pounds. We're here to kick his ass and show him what's up. Ronnie from Blessed Aesthetics. How's it going, guys? All right, guys. Give them hope that no matter this. how bad you think you got it, Shoulders there's always a way out. Always, period. And that's one of the biggest things that I can, you know, and Gabe talked about in his videos about, you know, giving back, you know, helping people. And that's why I can relate to him on a lot of levels. Like I said, the, the more I started to lose, becoming more mobile, then started following his programs that he would, uh, you know, put on YouTube or on his, uh, his website or whatever. And, and I just started growing, started, you know, just evolving. And I got addictive to the point where I was spending probably more time in the gym than I was sleeping during the week, you know, and people are like, why are you doing it? And, I, and the reason I do it now is because I know what's behind me if I stop. If I stop, I'm done. You know, Gabe talks about moments, you know, living in the moment. It was by me responding, making a comment to him on that video I was watching the night I I was taking my life. That single moment has changed my life. And now I'm able to sit here in front of you guys 
and tell my story. But I would like to thank Gabe personally. <clears throat> personally. In a lot of his videos, he talks about you know, reaching out and helping people, scraping them up off the pavement, because God knows he scraped my ass up off the pavement, literally. And didn't even know it. Remember why you're here, right? Remember why you feel all the way out here. Give me your little girl. I'm gonna show her. Who do you wanna be? Come on. What are you gonna be to her? Come on. This is for your family, brother. Let's go. Come on. Fucking deep. Dig fucking deep. Get in there. Get in there. How bad do you want this? Come on. How bad do you fucking want this? Go. Five more. Four more. Come on, Dwayne. Don't stop. Three. Go. Come on. Two. Go. One. You're done. Great job. But you know, he asked me maybe one day would I tell my story, and I told him no, I wasn't ready. It's taken me two years, roughly two years, to tell my story. So I want to thank him personally first. Then I want to thank Body Spartan for them putting out these videos. You know, guys, I'm telling you. You need to check them out. Uh, like, this is not a sales pitch or nothing. You need to check them out. Because, you know, I've met him. I've worked out with him. <laughs> Still hurting from him. But he's, he, he's real. He's real. And a lot of people in his position that's done what he's done in the past, you know, WWE, whatever, He's humble, he's humble. And just, if you find yourself in my position, hit him up. Maybe he can talk to you. Maybe he can tell you something, help you in some way. There's a lot of fitness programs out there trying to make money, trying to do this, trying to do that. But he's all about helping people. He could care less about the money. He's all about helping people. And what he, what he says, he means. And I'm a living, walking, talking, breathing example of it.